Hey guys, just out here messing around with my spotting scope and wanted to show you how handy this phone scope system is to where you can digiscope um, through your cell phone whenever it's mounted onto your spotting scope and just gives you some awesome zoom capabilities. And just want to do a quick run through, show you how easy this is to mount up to this and just show you some of the options that the phone scope has if you ever want to record what you're seeing through your spotting scope with your cell phone. So first thing you'll probably notice here is that the phone scope actually comes with the correct size case for whatever phone you're using. I'm using an iPhone here and I just had to match it up with whatever model uh, iPhone that I had. Comes with the case and then you'll notice this piece right here. This is what connects it to the eyepiece. The eyepiece will just simply fit right on to the eyepiece of whatever spotting scope you have. So two main things with this. You have to make sure and get the correct eyepiece for your spotting scope and then you have to make sure and get the correct size case for whatever phone model you have. It's pretty simple from there. Uh, they actually have an app that you have to download the app but we'll show you. Go ahead and put this on. This just has four grooves here that match up on the back. Pretty self-explanatory. My phone is one of the ones with two or three of the lenses uh, on the back of the phone and the bottom lens on mine is for telescope, telephoto, and the top is for wide angle. So I always slide it down and use the bottom lens. You can see there that that just slides right on, stays on there nice and secure. And then this is what we'll put onto the eyepiece. And it's just a twist mechanism. You can feel it kind of lock in there. Let me lock this in place. And then I always make sure and shoot in landscape so you want to twist that sideways i'm going to get my app running here phone scope app and then i'll show you guys what i see so what i'll show you guys through the spotting scope is the top portion of this tower right here and i'll switch over here and i'll record this on the phone too but the clarity through youtube will be downgraded a little bit and i just want you to know that the, the actual picture on the cell phone is much better than what you're going to see on YouTube, but you still get the point. Uh, here we're zoomed in on this cell phone tower right here. There's a little bird sitting over here. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's pretty sunny out here. Hit record on the phone. That way, if you guys can't see it through my handheld camera, you guys will be able to see it uh, when I upload here. But then you can just simply zoom in with the spotting scope and then give me a second here and I will focus this. There's that bird up there. Just make sure and tap on your screen to focus. Makes it real nice and easy. Then you can also zoom in on your cell phone to get extra zoom. Like I say, the quality is not going to be as good through YouTube. And this is a little bit shaky when I'm touching it, but you can see when you let go of it how steady things are. It's actually a vulture. I can see it now. It's a buzzard. You can just barely see him up there. Right there. you can see the difference here to there And then just a couple of quick tips that I'll give on this. If you get any uh, kind of vignetting right here or dark shades, circles around the edges, 
make sure and focus your ocular, your eyepiece on your spotting scope. That helps a great deal. I always try to shoot in landscape. You just get a lot better uh, field of view, a lot better picture that way. And then whenever taking pictures, uh, always set it up on a timer. So that way you click the picture take button. It's going to count down from three to five or whatever you set it on. Then your hands free and it's not going to get any of the shake in the picture. So you can tap it, walk away, and it's going to snap on its own. That way it's dead calm and no vibrations going through the picture. Give you that max clarity. It just makes it real nice because you can not only focus through the spotting scope itself, but then you can tap on the screen with your cell phone and that's going to auto focus as well. So you've got a couple different focus mechanisms. And it's just real handy because you're able to record what you're actually seeing through your spotting scope. Really reach out there and see the animal that you're uh, looking, through, looking at through the spotting scope. See the target you're shooting at, whatever it might be. Anyway, just a quick run through on the phone scope system. Uh, if you guys have any questions, make sure and comment down below. I'll link this product down below as well. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, happy hunting. Be safe. See ya. Bye.